Hello, guys. Well, I guess, well, guess what? It finally happened. It finally happened. Jubilee cast me in one of their videos. Let's go! Woo! That's right. I remember the first time I ever watched a video of theirs on this channel was back in, when was this? Like a year ago, probably. And they commented, thanks for the react, Cody. Big fans here. Let's go LARPing sometimes. Well, they ended up hitting me up and they said, do you want to be in one of our videos? And I said, let's go. So then fast forward a few months later, we now have this video, six Cody Co fans versus one secret Cody Co. Odd one out, that's the series. We've watched a couple odd one outs before here. Uh, so let's, I haven't seen this yet. It came out 12 days ago, I haven't seen it. I haven't watched it, so let's watch it together, shall we? However, real quick before we do that, I gotta thank the sponsor of this video, which is SeatGeek, the best. Oh God, I love them. Live events are back, and that means that you can get $20 off tickets at SeatGeek with promo code CodyCo. If you don't know what SeatGeek is, they're a ticketing app that makes buying simple. I've got the app on my phone, and it's by far and away the easiest way to buy tickets. Let's see what shows are going on around here right now. Dirk's Bentley <laughs> concert, of course. <laughs> of course, doesn't that match the background right now? Dirk's Bentley. I might just go to that. Uh, four tickets, please? All for me? Whether it's concerts, baseball, basketball, football, festivals, or more, SeatGeek puts tickets from all over the web in one place to make buying simple. And they wanna make sure that you're getting a good deal, so look for the green dots. That means it's a good deal, and red dots mean it's a bad deal. Listen, I know the holidays just happened, but tickets, they make a perfect gift for any scenario. Give someone the gift of an experience. So use code CodyCo for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code CodyCo. Just hit the link in the description and download the app. All right, Jubilee time. All right, so today we're gonna be watching uh, a Jubilee video. This is a Jubilee video. All right, you guys seem to like the Jubilee video that we did last week. Odd one out by Jubilee. <laughs> Just four bad haircuts. And five, actually. Five. There you go. We brought together seven Cody Co fans. I'm a Cody Co fan. 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 I am a Cody Co fan. And I'm a Cody Co fan. Actually, I am Cody Co, and I'm not a fan. <laughs> I knew this was probably gonna be pretty cringe for me. Hopefully, you find it funny, but it's very hard for me to watch myself try to be funny. So. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be buckling up for this one. It's gonna be a tough one. One is actually the real Cody Co. But none of the fans know Cody is in the game. If the group discovers who the liar is, they'll split a cash prize. If Cody survives, he wins the entire prize. With mics and cameras off, can the fans find who's the odd one out? All right, my fake name is Josh Miller. What's my background? By the way, I still have this as my Zoom background. That little, or like my Zoom icon, that little banana guy. So every time I'm in a meeting and I'm like, I don't want to turn my camera on, you know, because I'm tired or something, that, that, that banana guy shows up, Josh Miller. It's not a really good representation of me or my energy, I don't think, but that's what it is. And it's, it's what it's going to stay as because I'm too lazy to change it. I've grown to like Josh Miller, the banana guy. I have. I'm a rabid fan of... Cody Co. <laughs> My strategy for the game is to be friendly, but also put pressure on people. I'm honestly looking out for a Noel Miller fan. A Noel Miller fan could easily know enough general information. I am a Cody Co fan, but I don't know that much about Cody Co. I literally Googled Cody Co facts just to make sure that I, I knew enough about him. Cody Co facts? 23 interesting and fun facts about Cody Co. He's part of the comedy duo Tiny Meat Gang. Number 20, his father and dog have appeared on his Instagram posts. That's a fun fact. Throw that on a Snapple bottle. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna be reciting my, his, my favorite videos of his, all the best memes. You're old, dude. That's a good one. Let's go. Oh, what do I say? Okay, round one. So this is how it works. So everyone, no, nobody can see each other, right? All you can see is my banana guy on Zoom, Josh Miller. And uh, we're all in a Telegram group together and we're chatting. That's the first round. So I had to like try and make it seem like I wasn't myself, but a fan of me, which I'm not. It, it, I was really nervous, honestly. I, I was like freaking out before this because I was like, how do, I don't know how to do this. It's crazy. Hey, lol. I said, hey. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Ashley's bitmojis, that's as hell. I don't like Joe, so 
Something's off. Okay, what do we even ask? What do we even ask? Where is everyone from? I'm gonna say. Where is everyone from? That's fine, right? That's was I too forward? Did I jump into it real fast? Hey, where are you from? That's what that felt like. Hey, lol. So where are you guys from? <sighs> that was funny, Cody. Yeah. Uh, it was a, watching this. It was kind of a weirdly like old thing to say. Where are you guys from? It's kind of boomer, isn't it? Where are you guys all from? Hey, let's start with names and fun facts. You know, my father and dog have appeared in my Instagram posts before. <laughs> no one cares where we're from. No one cares where we're from. No one's gonna remember. See, she. <laughs> yep. Yep. You're right. You're right. I fucked that up. My, I, I fucked it up. And in the moment, I thought it was a good thing to say, but fuck. Oh, Matt is from Serbia. I instantly trust him with my life. Cool. I'm from LA. Oh, fuck. someone else is from LA. Damn it. I gotta think of a neighborhood. Oh no. Y'all no, what? Real bros. It was, it was, yep. Uh, first uh, one and a half season. What is real bros? Oh no, I'm a fake fan. What is real bros? You don't know what real bros is? I'm disappointed. It's the coolest thing I've ever been a part of. Done through the podcast, okay, okay. Real bros was so funny. I put out a few questions. But I haven't got a response back yet. <laughs> yeah, you spelled my last name wrong, dude. C O. Come on. Anyone else have TMG as their top podcast for Spotify? Rap? Yeah, I did. Lol. Oh my god, they all had the podcast. I'm just gonna lie. I'm just gonna lie. Dude, he spelled it wrong again, right there, Joe. How how is that not the most suspicious thing in the world? Wouldn't if it was me? Wouldn't I try to throw them off by? Not knowing how to spell my own name. I know I'm like, it's too meta. I, I don't know. I'm confused. I just confused myself. I'm so nervous. I, I don't speak. I'm not speaking anything. Trillionaire mindset. Uh, only the first episode. See, that, that is a good question. Because trillionaire mindset, that is like something that he produced, but not a lot of people know about. Honestly, I think a slept on vid of his is the That's Cringe Valentine's edition. <laughs> Oh. See, I thought that was a pretty good thing to say there because that's kind of a deep cut and it's kind of a little bit random too. So I thought that would have made it seem like, wait, did the co thing I said even make sense? <laughs> I'm still on that. I'm a little slow today. Oh, was that was that a bad thing to say? Is that too obvious? Okay, Matt just said fantastic bit. I think I'm fitting in right now. Okay, maybe I just don't say anything. I think I, I think I've I think I've. I've said my piece. Okay. Ah, I'm sorry. That was scary. I'm fine. Oh, oh, I, I, I'm I wasn't too aggressive. I blended in just fine. I was a little bit boring. So it's between Ashley and Josh, but I'm gonna wait on Ashley and I'm gonna go with Josh. Why? Why? Why me? Why? I was totally. I was completely believable. I was. I was just. I just. Blend it in, that's all I did. I'm gonna vote for Josh though. His bitmoji isn't ironic enough. I don't think I'm gonna get voted off this round, honestly. I think Joe is. I'm voting for Joe. Joe's acting real weird, okay? Later, Joe. The person eliminated this round is... Don't say Josh. Josh. Oh, Josh got There you go. There you have it. I made it like four minutes in this game. And and what you don't, what you didn't see is the build up to this video. There was like a pre-production call and then, and then when we were actually shooting, it was like an hour of setup for them to coordinate all these people without like seeing them and having them in private telegram groups and then coordinating me on top of all that. So it was like this huge build up. All, <laughs> all for me to just lose in four minutes. And then I just sat there and watched the rest of it play out. <laughs> Pathetic, honestly. I could, if my smile, it's all because of my fucking bitmoji too. It's all because of the stupid banana guy. Maybe I should change it. <laughs> How? I was totally normal. Why? Was saying that season two was worth it, was that not normal? Or was it the... <laughs> Yeah, that was a little bit too big of a fan thing to say, I think. Valentine's cringe comment. I should, maybe I just should have said nothing. Maybe I didn't say enough. Maybe I wasn't fast enough. 
I don't know. I played the game the way I came to play, and I'll stand by that. I'm proud of my performance. I'm not proud of it. I'm not proud of it at all. I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed. I think in P PewDiePie did one of these, and I think in his, he also got eliminated first round. So this, I mean, the odds were stacked against me. Wait a minute, I was the odd one out. <laughs> Frick! Okay, so now it's round two. So now I'm out. So you're watching me watch me watch round two. All right, now you're watching me watch me watch me watch round two. So. So now I, I like this better. Just observing. Although they're all fans now. So I might just go rogue and just be like. What the f is going on with Joe? Why is he being so weird? Any Mr. Struggles in chat? Only, I feel like my favorite Cody Ko joke is Mr. Struggle. Guy number three that you definitely shouldn't date quarter marry is Mr. Struggle. <laughs> this is I've had my goddamn struggles. Yeah. I've been Mr. Struggle before. <laughs> Fuck you guys. I've done, other, I've done other stuff since then, you know? <laughs> Do you guys consider yourselves godlike? Would you describe yourself as a godly man? Yeah. I'm constantly at the top of the leaderboard. Any video game. <laughs> Always. Godlike. I'm constantly top of the leaderboard. Any reference, understanders? He's deep in the memes. He knows the memes, but he doesn't know how to spell my fucking name. Joe. Joe. Why are you being so weird, Joe? Guys, see the new tattoo he got? His new tattoo? I don't follow him on Instagram. Yo, did you guys see the new tattoo he got? Which one are you talking about? Uh, no, what was it? Okay, so Joe's calling people out. He's saying, did you see the new tattoo? And then Matt said, no, what was it? And he said, wow, dude. Wow. So are you a fan? Or what's good, bro? Hey, Joe, what is this new tattoo? His new tattoo. He just got it, right? Kind of sus. How do people know about this tattoo? See, I find it a little weird that people are discussing my tattoos. Like people that pay attention that much. But I mean, I guess I... It's what, I mean, what else should I expect? How do you know about that tattoo? I never posted it. Who do you work for, Joe? Sus my a He just called me sus for not knowing about his new tattoo. Who the fuck knows about his new tattoo? Everyone's freaking out about the new tattoo. This is like not even, it's not even a tattoo. It's like a stick and poke. Did it myself. It's stupid. It's not worth this conversation right now. I feel weird. I feel weird about this. <laughs> It was on the TMG, bro. Oh, I did say it on the podcast. I did. I did. Sorry, Joe. Yeah, he tattooed a smiley face on his leg while he was drunk. Yeah, I did, unfortunately. No, it's actually sick, though. Um, I was going to show you, but I'm, it's probably not appropriate for a Jubilee video. Hey, here's my upper thigh. How would I know about his new tattoo? Also, they said that apparently the new tattoo was actually... Stop talking about the new tattoo. It's stupid. It's so stupid. When I was doing it, if you would have told me people are going to be talking about this on a different channel, <laughs> I would have I would have said obviously because it's sick, and maybe I found my true calling. Do you want a tattoo? In the newest episode of the podcast, super easy for a fake Cody Ko fan to just watch the most recent episode. So I'm voting out Joe. Okay, that's good logic. Good logic, Fions. By the way, apologies. I don't know if you could tell, but I'm not at my normal filming location, so. Um, I'm at my hunting lodge. Sh you know, it's been shooting exotic animals, endangered actually, no, I'm kidding. Uh, my computer is like working overtime to make this video happen right now, so you probably hear the fan, and I apologize for that. Let's keep going. Eliminated this round, in round oh two, oh is it's gonna be Amir. Me. It's gonna be me. <gasps> <gasps> no! Wait, I got it right! I did it, I did something good today! Wait, I got it right! I did it, I did something good today! Let's go! What's up? What's up? <laughs> this guy's funny. You will all have two minutes to think of and caption the picture that is going- By the way, shout out Paulo. Really nice guy. Great job on this. This is really funny. Shout out to you. To be posted in the group chat. <laughs> I'm laughing that everyone is downloading this picture to their hard drive right now. <laughs> How do you even caption this? What am I supposed to do? Because everyone is going to be like, when the app is frictionless, because we're all tired of that. Frictionless, yeah, frictionless, yeah, frictionless, yeah. frictionless. Let's see what you got, Joe. What does that say? My face when Cody Ko makes another useless podcast. Dude. Hey, bro, this is Cody and... 
you. Hey, dude, this is Cody and fuck you. Is that how I should do this? I feel like it is because it's just like this is probably the easiest commentary video I've ever done because I'm just I could just repeat exactly what I said. And then I'll maybe I'll react to this after. Actually, I'm reacting to it right now again. And I think maybe I could just say exactly what I just said. Ah! Fiona, just drank some cum powder, okay? Yeah? Kamu powder? Oh, dude, you're drinking cum powder? Oh! Good meme, solid meme. I don't even know if I'm allowed to say c <laughs> Let's see, Matt. Let's see what you got, Matt. <laughs> Miller. This isn't funny. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I mean, I don't even really get it, but it's just funny. Okay, it's kind of, okay, it's kind of funny. <laughs> when you're sponsored by Love Islands, you don't have to pay for the next episode. I like this one because Love Island was how it's, I found Noel and Cody. Okay. I don't get it. Sorry, McKim. You know, I would say to everyone in this video, don't quit your day job. To take a meme writing job. Maybe practice a little bit. I can't do it either. I can't. It's a skill, for sure. So just, you know, all of those were pretty abysmal. Um, but, no, they sucked. Ashley, when Chili decides not to bark while you're vlogging. Yeah, okay. I like okay. that one. That was, that that was kind of funny. Right, Chili? I know. <laughs> Memes are hard. That's what we've learned. I can't do them either. Did I just have the same opinion before and after? This is hurting my brain. We have a tie. The tie is between Joe and Matt. Of course, of course it's between me and Joe. Hmm, I need to be specific. I need to be very specific. Me after just. Uh, when you're a collegiate athlete, when you have a 2.5 GPA, my face when I'm not only a dookie, but also taking a dookie. Let's see if I can recreate that smile. Me after meditating and eating walnut salad. Mm. I'm gonna give that one a that, you know? Does anyone I mean, understand my deep cut? I feel like I'm being a it's hater. It's alright. I'm so done with this walnut salad! I like the reference here. I like that they're citating. Citating? Is that a word? I like that they're... They're citing. That's the word. I like that they're citing these memes just to give people a like... Because they're pretty old now, you know? Just to give people like, oh yeah! That's where that's from, okay. Okay, it's not funny, but I... I see where that it exists. Diving in her DMs, I'm diving in her... <laughs> See? Okay. No, it's not, it's not a Cody Kojo. <laughs> Woo! There's a joke. By the way, the, the word that you can't read there, it probably says pool, right? I'm diving in her pool, right? That probably says pool. That's what he meant, right? Pool? I know it's not. Oh, it's no. That has nothing to do nice with Cody work. Ko, my friends. One thousand percent voting for Joe. I will vote for Matt once more. Joe's was definitely a deep cut, and if we're just looking for the non-Cody Co fan, then I'm gonna go with the deep cut. And the person eliminated this round is Matt. Oh. Oh. What? Let's go! Matt got go. eliminated. So then, are you saying the funnier meme would be the fake fan because the real fan? Is this an insult to me somehow? <laughs> yes, I think it definitely is. I think it definitely, definitely is. Everyone feels confident that you already voted out the mole. So, you can yeah. end the game now. But if yep. the majority has doubt, so, the game will continue. Sorry, Fiona. No! Oh, oh, I'm gonna be so upset. I wanna continue, man. I wanna oh continue. my god. It's over. It's over. Time to reveal myself. Okay, so that was the last round. They then decided that they had kicked out the mole, they'd gotten rid of him, or her, and uh, they ended it, and so now it's time to reveal who actually was the mole, me. And uh, let's see their reactions. If the color that shows up is green, you all win. If it's red, the fake fan is still in the game, so and you stressed, all lost. Dude, in three. Please be red and please be Joe. Please be red, please be Joe. Please be red, please be Joe. Let's go! I knew it! I I'm Why is Fiona's like tripping? But she get don't you guys get money? You won. I'm so smart. I knew it was 
that? Joe had me bamboozled. Dude, how is it not Joe? Yeah. No, like I got voted out first round and nobody has said my name since then. I'm I'm just forgotten. Forgotten. I'm just like discarded. I bet you right now if you'd be like, I, I think it was Josh, it'd be like, who? Oh yeah, that dude with the banana guy? Yeah, we got rid of that guy in the first, no, he was just weird. The game is over and the Cody Co fans have won. Please turn on your Zoom cameras in three, two, one. Uh, hey, everybody. Hi. Oh, wait, are you, are you saying hi or are you saying you're the mole? Hey. Uh, oh, oh, my oh, my God. God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Dude, it's the guy with the tattoo on his leg! <laughs> Holy fuck! It's the smiley face tattoo guy! How did you guys vote me out first? How? Uh, why? <laughs> Your vibe was off. That's why we voted you out. I had so I was many like notes super down low key about, about it. I was like, yeah. Oh, but that's cringe Valentine's. Pretty funny, huh? <laughs> and then you guys were like, Josh. <laughs> Josh. Cody, thank you for being you. I know you hate compliments, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, you're super funny. You've brought me closer to some of my best friends, so just thanks for being. Okay, I, I can't. <laughs> I bet, well, I feel. <laughs> thank you for the kind words. I just I do feel weird about watching watching people give compliments to me, so that feels weird. If you want to see that part, you can go watch the original video. Um, shout out to Jubilee. Thanks for having me for that. That was a lot of fun. Uh, shout out Paulo, the director. Uh, it was a good time and let's do it again. Let's go LARPing again sometime. And shout out to all the fans that played as well. You guys rule, you made that really fun, and that was a good time, so thank you. Appreciate it, thanks guys. Uh, see you next time. See, there it is, it's fucking stupid. I told you it was stupid.